finally, you hop on the ring. Take a look around. The bleachers. The bleachers are packed. The crowd. The crowd mentioning your name. Rue, Cli, Rue, Cli, Rue, Cli, Rue, Cli. In the first rows, those reserved for Nazi officials, you recognize Georg Rada, the Ayer, the president of, of German Boxing Union. And finally, here he comes, your opponent, Adolf Witt, the Colossus, a blonde giant, a perfect embodiment, the ideal, the ideal fighter, the regime supports. Guard up, sturdy legs, maximum impact force, and great heat resistance. The only thing you can count on is the dance, the footwork, the brilliant dodging, and the efficient jumping. You tell yourself, that a boxer this size can possibly be aging as well. And if you were, so be it. And from the first round, you dance. opponent hypnotizing him with a quick leg movement and you hit him one two three ten a hundred times out of feet the colossus doesn't seem to understand and what's happening one two three ten a hundred times a hundred hits you are the gypsy you are wind and your punch is storm and so you dance, 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 a spirit of rhythm like it's a party. One, two, three, ten, a hundred hits of a storm. It's round six. You keep beating him. You keep crashing him, you keep shattering him, and the Colossus, the Colossus starts to sway. You need the deep roots to stay up. And the pure-blooded Aryan now, the face beaten, the eyes watery, staggers more and more, more and more. You could knock him out in an instant, but but instead, you wait and you dance, 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 dance. The crowd goes wild. It wants the final hit. It waits for it. It calls for it. And so, and so, here it comes. That tanky moment where the crowd Holding his impossible for a miserable gypsy to defeat a pure race colossus like Adolf Hitler. 